Welcome again to today's class. This day we want to look into analysis of covariance. This is popularly known as Ancover. This video will be in many parts. This will be the introduction aspect of the topic. So don't forget to go to other parts of this video so that you see other things you have to learn from it. So we are into the introduction aspect of the Ancover. What is Ancover? Ancover, like other statistical technique, is also a statistical technique that uses ANOVA and regression coefficient in analysis its data. I repeat, ANCOVA is a statistical technique that uses the principles of ANOVA and regression coefficient in analyzing its data. Okay? So, when you are using this ANCOVA, it means you are using ANOVA with uh, regression coefficient, you have to apply these two principles, principles of ANOVA and principles of regression coefficient in analyzing data. When you are done with that, it means you have applied ANCOVA principle. Okay, so why do we use ANCOVA in analyzing data? This is so as to reduce the within group error. To be able to reduce the within group error, and also eliminates confounds. Okay, so Ancover will help us to reduce the within group error and eliminate confounds, hence getting more accurate result of our data. Now, the independent variable, the independent quantitative variable in Ancover is called covariate. I repeat, the independent quantitative variable in Ancover is called covariate. Then we want to go into models of ANCOVA. Models of ANCOVA. Like other statistical techniques that have their models, ANCOVA also have its model. Model of ANCOVA. Now, the model goes this way. Equals to you say the overall mean plus effect of eye treatment plus the regression coefficient bracket the covariate minus mean of the covariate this is mean of the covariate plus random error so we say yij is called response variable Then, mean, this is called overall mean. This is called effect of height treatment. Then, this is called regression coefficient. Okay, then the SIJ is called the covariate. SIJ is called the covariate. Then the X, it, this with a double with a bar on the top means mean of the covariate mean of covariate then e summation i get means random error this random error we have here means that in every analysis in every data you have to analyze you must take the cognizance of error that you must have error so to take care of that error we have random error this covariate, uh, this uncover we are talking or we are discussing this day has its assumptions.
The number one assumption is that it has its normality. I I is independence. I I I is constant variance. Then IV, IV is that regression lines are collinear. Regression lines are collinear. Then V, V is that the covariate, the covariate is not affected by treatment. Then, the next one is the relationship between X and Y are linear. Relationship between X and Y are linear. Relationship between X and Y is linear. Then, the next one is variance about regression lines are equal. And the last one, okay, we have written all. So, this tells us that in Ancover, these three assumptions, you see it in Anover. So, it applies the assumptions we have in Anover and also assumptions we have in regression coefficient. That is why you say in Ancover we have both we apply both principles of ANOVA and principles of regression coefficient. So these are the assumptions of ANCOVA. See you in the next video so that you see the continuation of this topic because we want to see next thing we have to learn in this. We want to go into ANCOVA table and learn a lot of things from it. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video. Keep in touch with our video. See you in the next video.